Hey guys, tonight we're going to be making the turkey mini meatloafs that I posted a while back on Connect, and I just never got around to making them, um, but they will be a one point turkey spinach mini meatloaf. Um, you want to start by preheating your oven to 375 degrees, which I have already done. Um, get yourself a pan like such and go ahead and spray it with um, some olive oil spray. And then you're going to start with, I have one cup of onion chopped up and we're going to saute these in the pan. So I have a medium heat going already and I'm gonna go ahead and start sauteing these. Um, I went ahead and used the sweet onion. You could use any onion you like. Go ahead and saute these and then what you're also going to need is one five to six ounce bag of baby spinach um, the recipe calls for five ounces I like spinach so I just throw the whole bag in so this is a six ounce bag of baby spinach so what you're going to do is I usually just cook them so they're about a little translucent. And then I start adding in my spinach. Now don't worry if it looks like a whole lot because it will cook down as you're sauteing it. And that's what you want it to do. Actually, on second thought, I think I'll use about five ounces of the spinach. I'm not gonna use all of that, so I'm gonna save the rest for something else, maybe a pizza. So, go ahead and use about five ounces of the baby spinach. And then you just wanna cook it until it wilts down. As you can see, it's starting to shrink down, which is what you want it to do. Okay, so once you get it all cooked down just like this, um, I'll go ahead and show you what the next step is. Okay guys, I'm back. And so, this is what we have come up with. And before we start, I just wanna mention that I have the extra lean 99% ground turkey. So these are zero points for this meat. And you're going to need one and a fourth pound of the ground turkey. So what I did is I just used my food scale and weighed out 20 ounces of the meat. Now what you wanna do is add in the sauteed onion and spinach to your ground turkey. And then once you add that, I think I'll use the big spoon. You're going to need two tablespoons of Parmesan, one large egg, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And I've already, if you can see that, I've already measured it out in here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle all of this onto the mixture along with one egg. and you wanna just mix it all together. You just wanna keep mixing until you can see that everything is nice and blended. Your seasonings, your spinach, your onion, your egg, and of course the turkey. And I think that looks pretty good. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to get ready, because your oven is already preheated, is you're gonna want a half a cup measuring cup handy. So this is what we're gonna use to measure out the mini meatloaves, one half cup. You also want some kind of a baking pan. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray this pan as well so they don't stick. Okay, so the next thing that you wanna do 
is lay your pan out and you're going to fill up half a cup of the mixture. Sorry, you guys couldn't see. Basically, I'm using the half cup measuring cup and I'm filling that up. I've already sprayed this with the olive oil spray and what I'm going to do is just flip this over like such. So that's gonna be one meatloaf. I'll do a couple more. And then just continue until all of the mixture is um, finished. Um, I used to make these with one cup and I would get four one cup mini meatloafs. But since then I have changed it and now I do the half a cup. So you should be able to get eight of the mini meatloaf. So we'll see how that goes. Okay guys, I'm back and I went ahead and made, I got eight out of the recipe. However, quick note, um, <clears throat> the recipe says that it calls for one and a quarter pound of the turkey um, but these weren't like fully packed half a cups. So my suggestion would be just go ahead and do a pound and a half of the turkey instead of um, a pound and a quarter. So do a pound and a half because the points aren't coming from the turkey anyways. It's coming from the sauce that we're gonna put on top. And I'm gonna go ahead and place them in the oven. Um, I believe it's gonna be 30 minutes. I'll be right back with that exact time for you. Okay guys, I am back and now what we're going to do while the meatloafs are cooking, we're going to be making our sauce that goes on top. So, we, oh, by the way, the meatloafs will go in for 30 minutes at 375 and then we're going to pull them out, put the sauce that we're making on top and then bake them for an additional 10 minutes. So the cooking time is a total of 40 minutes, but you wanna pull them out um, at the last 10 minutes to put the sauce in, okay? So here we go for the sauce. You're going to need ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and hot sauce of your choice. I just grabbed this one. So I'm going to start with six tablespoons of ketchup. Now, when I used to, before Weight Watchers, I used to make this, I would just like squeeze a bunch of ketchup in here, squeeze a bunch of hot sauce and a bunch of Worcestershire. I didn't measure anything. I just made a whole big old bunch and I plopped it all over my meatloaves. <laughs> so now that I'm actually measuring, I'm gonna have to see what the ratios are going to be so I'm kind of guessing right now so we'll kind of go as or see how we how see how it goes so that's three and six so six tablespoons of the ketchup and then we're going to do we're going to start with two tablespoons of the Worcestershire sauce like I said, you know, in the past I used to, I never measured. I just mixed a bunch of stuff together and you know, what? I'm going to try one first and see how this goes. I used to just squeeze a like literally like a whole bunch of ketchup, pour in the Worcestershire, pour in the hot sauce and I would just keep tasting it until I liked it. So, let's see here. So far we have six tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of the Worcestershire, and let's get the hot sauce going here. Let's do, let's do one of each for right now and then I'm gonna see how it is. Just keep mixing it. Hey, 
And actually that's perfect. So we're gonna go with six tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of hot sauce, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And that's gonna be your sauce. Okay guys, so my 30 minute timer just went off. So I'm going to pull out the turkey mini meat. This is what they will look like. The sauce that we made earlier, I'm going to split it into the eight loaves and just put a dollop on each loaf here. I love this sauce and I actually sometimes love adding extra hot sauce if you want to make it a little extra spicy, if you like spicy, um, but it's personal preference. Just keep in mind that when you make the sauce to calculate your points in the calculator if you don't go by the the recipe that I gave you in the video and then what I do is I get like a little brush and I kind of just I like it to be covered all the way around the whole meatloaf the sauce so I kind of just brush it all the way around all the way around just kind of let it drip and brush it all the way around on all of them. And then once you finish doing this, you'll put it back in the oven for 10 minutes. And as you can see, I'm just going around, making sure that we have a little sauce on the whole meatloaf. I know your pan gets like super ugly, but it comes clean, so. I don't really worry about that. So there we have it. That's what it should look like after the 30 minutes and it's gonna go back in the oven for 10 more minutes. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And I'll be back to show you the finished product, guys. Okay guys, I'm back and our turkey spinach mini meatloafs are ready to take out of the oven. They look yummy. And then what I do is I just scoop it off onto my plate. Put the spatula. Okay guys, so here they are. They're all finished. This is the turkey spinach mini meatloaves. They are a half a cup each at one smart point each. So there you have it. I'm gonna eat two of them tonight and then I'm going to pack the rest in my containers, uh, meal prep containers for another day. And um, another good thing about these is they actually freeze really well. So if you wanna eat maybe a couple throughout the week and freeze the rest, you can do that. So. Again, don't worry about the pan. Um, it'll come clean. Just soak it for a little while. Every time I've made these, it's always done. It's usually worse when I have the just the regular ground turkey because of the fat dripping everywhere. So, anyways, enjoy. I know I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to eat finally. And you guys have a good day or night, wherever you may be. All right. Talk to you later, connectors. Bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you. Um, I already ate two of these, and I actually didn't realize, but they are one smart point per meatloaf. However, if you eat two at one time, it then becomes three smart points. So this is actually a three smart point um, meal if you eat two at a time.